Good morning class. So today, I'm going to show you learning task number 3, do-it-yourself science project or the DIY microscope. So the materials needed. Okay, so small empty plastic water bottle. Permanent marker. Instead of scissor, I will use cutter okay let, later on I will get a sample of an onion skin the red onion skin instead of toothpick I will use this applicator stick sterile applicator stick so it's depend upon the availability of the materials and also ruler okay okay let's have this three spaces okay one two and three and so lagyan natin ng mark then i'm gonna cut this part so pabilog po siya circular pattern okay Okay, I already cut the plastic bottle. So, class, make sure to ask assistance from your parents or elder brother or sister in using cutter. Okay? Please be careful. Okay, so next step, cut middle part to make C-shape. So, hanapin nyo lang is middle part, ano, yung center nung ating circle. May use ruler. Okay. So, 3.5 centimeter. Or, pwede nyo namang itupi. Ano? Then, lagyan ng mark. Yung kalahati. Then, using permanent marker, lagyan po natin ng mark from this area to this. And another, nasa na yun? Here. Lagyan ulit ng mark. So, ito po yun. So, hindi nyo po siya ikaka totally. May matitira po yung nasa center. Yung number 2 space. Okay? Okay, class. So, nakat ko na po siya. Ayan po. So, may natirang sobra dito sa dulo. Yung ika-second part nung bote. Okay? Okay. Bakit flatten lang po ng area na ito? Ano po? I-flatten po natin siya. So, pwede uling i-trim gamit ang scissor or cutter. Okay, let's have part 2. How to assemble and operate DIY microscope. Okay, meron po tayong certain measurement. So, gamit ang ruler, i-measure po natin. So, we all know naman na millimeter ang ginamit dyan. So, yung maliliit na line sa ruler nyo, yan. So, yung bawat isang guhit is equivalent to 1 millimeter. Okay? So, mag-measure na po tayo. So, ayan, we have 55. Ano, we, we must have 70. 70, so adjust natin. So, ang ginamit ko pong bottle ay lemon yung, ano, para malaki po yung circumference. Then, yung width niya is 12 millimeter. Twelve. So, babawasan natin kasi masyadong makapal. Then, pwede kayong gumamit ng ruler para i-mark. Ano, hindi ko palang maguhitan because nagbibideo ako. So, wala po kasi akong assistant dito. Yan po yung sa first part.
Okay, so 70 ang length and 12 mm po ang width. So, yun ang ginamit. Ang ginamit ko na dito ay scissor sa pag-trim ng ating plastic bottle. Okay. Okay na, mag-measure naman tayo ng 55 mm or millimeter using our ruler. Then, ipopold natin siya pag na-reach natin yung 55 millimeter. So, o oh, yan, 55 mm. So, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then, here, 55. May mark na yun, ipopold natin. Okay. Dun sa, then, measure tayo mula dun sa may mark ng 4 mm. Okay, so let's, we have 4. So, ayan, so we have that. So, you will have this as your end product. So, lalagyan na natin siya ng specimen. Using, oh, sorry. Using the onion skin, or the red onion skin. Okay, so this is the red onion skin. Ayan. So, diba, ano pa yung, yung sobrang nipis na bahagi lamang. Okay, meron dito tayong natanggal na. So, gamit ang scissors, so mag-scrap off kayo ng sobrang nipis na skin ng onion natin. Then, yung ilalagay natin dun sa DIY microscope natin. So, ito siya, oh. Sobrang nipis. Yan. So, yan yung ilalagay natin dun sa DIY microscope. Okay, gamit yung toothpick or applicator stick. Ilalagay natin siya dito. Tapos tatakpan natin siya. So, make sure na maayos yung pagkakalagay natin. Ano? Then, ipopold na natin yung Then, ipopold nyo. So, usually, pag sa microscope nilalagyan siya ng water or drop of water para dumikit Kasi glass po yung glass slide yung ginagamit natin doon. So, it represents the glass slide and the cover slip. So, that's it. So, pwede kayo mag-send ng video or picture while doing this activity. Thank you.